Thanks for uh, joining me for this interview. This is going to be uh, the first of a little series of introductory interviews we're doing here at Husky. Um, so why don't you uh, get started? Tell us a little bit about yourself. What's your background? What do you do? Yeah, sure. So currently I'm a assistant professor working on computer science department at UC Davis. And I have been moving to Davis about one year already. And before coming to Davis, I have been working at a Florida State University about for about four years. And then before that, I have been studying at Chicago for about five years. So it's a long time already. Oh, oh, well, that's great. That's great. What um what are your specialties? So for me, actually, my research special is focused on AI, I mean, artificial intelligence. I have a special interest on data mining, machine learning. So generally, my research is focused on data. We try to use data and analyze data to get some insights and trends. And we also try to use some models to, I mean, detect some patterns from the data. And then we can further use the models to do the prediction for the future. This is the general thing I'm doing right now about data mining, machine learning, and AI. That's really cool. So do you want to tell us a little bit about what that means for what you're doing with us here at Husky? Yeah, sure. So right now, actually, I'm trying to analyze some data patterns from Husky AI. And we use some machine learning model and data analyze models to analyze the data we have. We want to analyze some insights and the trends we have had for the like a trademark application data in Husky AI. We want to detect both the insights and we want to further use the insights to do some of the work for the future at Husky AI. Great. And um, did you have any backgrounds in intellectual property or in entrepreneurship before joining us? So not really. I mean, because I'm working on AI and computer science, you know, computer science people, they like to share the code, the paper, and the source code and all the data together uh, with some other people. Then the other people can reproduce their results. So we like to share this work and we like to open source. So before, I don't really have much experiences on IP, on trademarks, actually. So it's my first time to get involved into a trademark production and IP production complaints. It's much fun, actually, than I expected. <laughs> I actually said the same thing when I joined, too. It's, it's more fun and more interesting than I ever thought it was going to be. That's true. That's true. <laughs> What's been your favorite part so far? So I think the most interesting part I have right now is to work with the people in Husky AI. So first of all, I think the people here, they are very tech-driven because by talking and working with them, I find that they like technology a lot, especially the new technology. They want to apply the newest AI technology and the models to analyze data they have right now. So I like this part a lot. At the same time, I think the people here, they are also very friendly and they gave me more flexibility to try to do different kinds of projects I like. I think this flexibility is very important for me. And so I think right now I'm I'm good for every so I think right now I'm good for everything I have right now with Husky AI and I can knock it on. Okay. No, that's uh that's good to hear. <laughs> it's I appreciate that endorsement of uh, our working styles and trying to embrace new technology. Um, and let's see, um, are there any uh, particularly interesting insights that you've discovered so far in Husky's data? Yeah, actually, we have mine not so very interesting sites. I mean, by by analyzing the data we have for the trademark applications. So, for example, we can extract some of the patterns in the application in the past years. Actually, from the data, we can see many interesting things, I mean, about the real world. So, for example, I mean, according to our current data analysis, we see that in recent three years, we see not so application of trademarks which are related to the crypto coin as well as NFT, I mean, we see this increase, a very big increase in the amount of application related to these kinds of things. And at the same time, after the Facebook is renamed to Metaverse, we also see not so application for trademarks, which are correlated to Metaverse, to the virtual reality, and the way, as well as augmented reality. And also in the past years, we are suffering from the COVID-19 a lot. 
And we also see this kind of thing in the trademark application as well, because we see not so application of trademarks which are common related to the masks as well as COVID-19. So generally you see, I mean, from the trademark applications, we can, I mean, see what is happening in the real world, in the offline world, actually. So this is the most exciting, also interesting things I can see by mining the data we have at Husky AI. That's really interesting. I didn't even think about masks. Usually, yes, yeah, so we see not so mask applications about trademarks in the recent years. It's a big jump, actually. You know, in the trademark space, there has been some talk about um, there was a major surge in 2020 in applications and then another in 2021. And it seemed to have slowed down a little bit in 2022 so far. Um, what? Yeah, that's true. I mean, we also have this monthly analyze for the new applications of the trademarks, and we have a fine grain analyze into months. So we do see some of the patterns which has a lower, I mean, which has a decrease of the application of certain keywords and mask and some other words, because we see the COVID-19, I mean, the we have fewer cases nowadays, then we have a few applications as well for the mask in the offline world as well for the trademarks. So we we have to have some, so we do see some like a patterns going to months, and then we can do some fine grain and nice to predict for the future. That's very cool. That's very interesting. Um, and then, um, what do you think about um, how Husky could, um, and other companies uh, in the private sector, uh, could collaborate better with academia? I think this is a very good point. I mean, for the tech companies, if we want to involve more young people, I mean, to this company and the products as well as projects, then we can consider to collaborate with academia, especially with universities. So for the people, if they use something at their younger age, they will be rely on this, especially for some new career like lawyers. Uh, so if we can collaborate with the university, then we can encourage both young students to use our websites and our services. So I have different ideas to collaborate with the universities because I have both experiences at Husk AI and in universities. So first of all, I think Husk AI can try to share some of the resources and the data and also access rights to the university with the professors and the students. Then they can use the Husk AI as one of the website or system to do their projects, to do their homeworks. Then they know how Husk AI works and how to use Husk AI, and they will be relying on this website for the future after they start their career. This is one of the idea. And I, another idea I have in my mind is to maybe we can can create maybe we can create some of the open challenges for some potential challenge problems we have right now in Husky AI to call for proposals as well for the submission and the source code and the solutions. So according to the submission, we can have a ranking which one performs the best and then the second one and so forth. And we can also select the top tenants in our submissions and invite them as either the full-time employee in Husky AI or we can invite them as an internship during summer to work with the employers right now we have in Husky AI to work on some project or to work on some projects and then to derive more exciting solutions for the Husky AI. That's those are really great thoughts. Do you have any um cool hobbies or talents? Yes, yeah, so personally I like to make robots or not. I mean, which is close close correlated with my current uh, research direction. I want to I, I I like to design some new robots and also make them out. I can see one of the robots I'm working on right now, maybe. Yeah. I have a robot dog. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. It's a small dog with four legs. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't finish it yet. We just finished the body part and with four legs. And then in the future, probably I can try to make it work and to see how, how it runs. And so personally, I like to make robots in my spare time. And besides this, I also like to do lots of readings and also watch lots of movies. So personally, I prefer to watch movies and uh, books about uh, the history and the culture. And then I can see different countries, different kind of people, how they work how, and how they live. It's different, I mean, come from computer science, actually. Oh, very interesting. And I 
Is that just coincidence that you happen to be working on a robot dog? That's what that's what that's true. I envision is Husky's model of when we say we use AI, we have a little robot dog just finding all the trademarks. That's true. That's true. <laughs> No, oh, that's that's very cool. Um, is there anything that uh, would surprise us about you? So, I mean, right now you see my hair. I mean, his style is very short. The hair is very short. Actually, a few weeks ago, I have very long hair, just like yours, actually. Really? <laughs> yeah, um, I think my hair is probably longer than yours. I have been living this keep, keeping this hair for about more than two years since the COVID nineteen starts. So I didn't go to the barber to cut it. Then I keep the long hair for about two years. And then a few weeks ago, I just cut my hair and I donated it to the wigs for kids and for free, of course. So I want to use the hair to maybe make some custom hair for the kids. I mean, if they cannot have hair because of some reasons. Yeah. So this is something probably which is different from my current looking right now. <laughs> no, I definitely wouldn't have guessed that. Um, that's really nice. I did that a couple of times when I was younger, uh, donated my hair, but that's great. Thanks so much, Jawi, for, for joining me and for answering these questions. Yeah, anytime. Thanks so much for the time, Tessa, for the questions. Yeah, thank you. Alrighty.